Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an important question for app developers. Should I implement app links in my installed app along with my instant app? Our viewer is curious about why both apps need to support app links, especially when the focus is on ensuring instant app URLs are properly surfaced in Google search. We'll also explore the best practices for implementing these links effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Implementing app links in both your installed app and instant app is essential for a seamless user experience. This ensures that users can access the same content regardless of which version of the app they have. The installed app should implement app links to handle deep linking correctly. This means that when a user clicks on a link, it will open the appropriate app version, whether it's the instant app or the installed app. To implement app links, you need to define your intent filters in the Android Manifest XML file for both apps. This allows the system to recognize the links and direct users accordingly. Best practices for implementing app links include testing your links thoroughly, ensuring they work across both app versions, and using the digital asset links file to verify ownership of your domain. In summary, Implementing app links in both your installed and instant apps is crucial for a consistent user experience and effective deep linking. Follow the best practices to ensure everything works seamlessly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, you should implement app links in both your installed app and your instant app. Instant apps rely on app links, but not all devices support them. If a user has your full app installed, they should be directed there instead of the instant version. The main difference is that an instant app loads a single activity without needing to download the full app from the Play Store, providing a seamless experience. However, the underlying technology is similar. To ensure a smooth transition between the instant and full app, you need a way to pass context. Android doesn't provide this by default, so you may need to build a solution or use a service like branch.io. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you're looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have the good one. Cheers.